What's going on guys, Fade Lou here, bring guys a brand new video. We're gonna be doing a 10 minute haircut tutorial, so stay tuned. We started off by saturating the top and making sure our canvas is nice and neat. We also separated the top from the sides. We're then gonna move on to our gold FX and create our first guideline contouring to his head shape. You always wanna make sure you contour this guideline to their head shape so that the fade can flow better. we're done balding them out we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline you want to make your second guideline around an inch thick so you can spread the blend we're then going to slightly close the lever and begin to attack that initial guideline you want to make sure to stretch the skin as much as possible with your opposite hand to give you more space to blend Now that we're done erasing that initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're then going to use our comb to feed the hair into the clipper because it is getting pretty long. You're going to use this same guard and the lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. Now that we're done softening up the line with the one guard, we can move on to the half guard and erase the line completely. Make sure to use your corners and stretch the skin when needed. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Now we're moving on to our two guard all the way open and we're creating our fourth guideline. We're flicking out as much as possible once we're getting near the parietal ridge and we're also feeding the hair into the clipper using our comb. We're going to use this same guard and the lever to soften up the line and get it ready for the one and a half guard. Now that we're done softening up the line with the two guard, we can move on to one and a half guard and erase the line completely. Sometimes after using the one and a half guard, there's still a fake line, so switching over to your one guard all the way open would definitely help. Before we use our clip of our comb, we're going to debulk with the three guard all the way open and we're going to repeat the same process we did with our two guard by flicking out and using our comb to feed the hair into the clipper. Now we're moving on to our clipper of a comb method and we're going to make sure the hair is nicely saturated before we do this so it's easier to pick up with your comb. Once the hair is nice and saturated, we're going to begin by debulking but with our horizontal cuts by picking up the hair with the comb and then sliding the clipper with the least amount of pressure as possible. Now that we're done with our clipper of a comb, we're going back to our previous guards and we're going to detail as much as possible.
telling your no guard all the way open and your one guard all the way open is gonna be your best friend. Before we finish up the fade, we're gonna connect the top to the sides to make sure we get any overhang. Now we're taking our clipper of a comb and we're making the fade as smooth as possible. Moving on to our NST outliners, we're going to start off at the bottom and work our way to the top arch using our corners. And we're also going to go as slow as possible because we're making sure the hair feeds into the trimmer. If you don't do this, the hair is going to move and shift and you're going to have a hard time getting a nice and crispy line. Before we move on to our shear work, we're going to make sure the hair is nicely saturated so we can get the true length of the hair follicle. Now that we're done saturating the hair, we have combed the hair out. This is so we can get any knots and tangled hair. Once we're done combing the hair out, we can start off by creating our first guideline at the top of the capitis and then follow the same guideline through the back and sides. You always want to show your clients the length you're going to cut off and make sure they're very comfortable with it. You want to make sure you follow the same guideline through the sides, this is so you don't have any fall away hairs. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you made it this far into the video, leave a comment down below of my subscriber count, and I'm 100% gonna reply to it. Before we move on to our Turkish razor and Derby Premium blades, we're gonna lather up the skin with our Elegant Shave Gel. This is gonna help the blade glide better. Now that we're done lathering up the skin, we can move on to our Turkish Razor and Derby Premium Blades and make them as crispy as possible. When you're using the razor, you want to stretch the skin as much as possible with your opposite hand and keep the blade at a 45 degree angle. This is so you don't cut them.